You've seen nothing then. Nor ever heard, nor ever did suspect. Yes, you've seen she and Cassio together. But then I saw no harm. And then I heard each syllable that breath made up between them. What, did they never whisper? Never, my lord. Nor send you out the way? Never. To fetch her fan, her gloves, her mask, nor nothing. Never, my lord. I durst, my lord, to wager she is honest. Lay down my soul at stake. If you think other, remove your thought. It doth abuse your bosom. Bid her come hither. Go! This is a subtle whore. My lord, what is your will? Let me see your face. Look into my eyes. Upon my knee, what doth my lord import? I understand a fury in your words. What art thou? A wife, my lord. Your true and loyal wife. Come, swear by it. Damn thyself, swear thou art honest. Heaven doth truly know it. Heaven truly knows thou art false as hell. To whom, my lord? With whom? How am I false? Desdemona, away. Away! Away! Alas, the heavy day. Why do you weep? Am I the motive of these tears? If happily you do suspect my father of an instrument of this your calling back, lay your blame not on me. If you have lost him, I have lost him too. Had it pleased heaven to try me with affliction, had they rained all sorts of shames, and worries upon my bare head. I would have found some place in my soul, a drop of patience. Thou wert so lovely fair, and smellest so sweet, that the sense aches at thee. Wouldst thou never have been born? What ignorant sin have I committed? Was this fair paper, this most goodly book, made to write horror upon? By heaven, you do me wrong. Are you not a strumpet? No, as I am a Christian. If to preserve this vessel for my Lord from any foul, unlawful touch, be not to be a strumpet, I am none. What? Not a whore. No, oh, as I shall be saved. It's impossible. Oh, heaven forgive us. I cry you mercy, then. I took you for that cunning whore Venice that married with Othello. You, mistress! The one who holds office opposite to St. Peter to the gates of hell! You, you, I, you. We have done our count. Here's money for your pains. I pray you turn the lock and keep our count. How do you, madam? How do you, my good lady? Faith, 
half asleep. Good man, what is the matter with my lord? With who? Why, with my lord, madam. Who is thy lord? He that is yours, sweet lady. I have none. Do not talk to me, Amelia. I cannot weep. Nor answers have I none but what should go by water. For thee tonight, lay on my bed my wedding sheets. Remember. And call thy husband hither. What is your pleasure, madam? What is the matter, lady? My lord hath thrown such heavy terms upon her, true hearts cannot bear it. Am I that name, Iago? What name, fair lady? Such as she said my lord did say I was. He called her whore. Why did he so? I do not know. I'm sure I am not such. Do not weep. Do not weep. Alas, the day. Hath she forsook so many noble matches, her father and her country, all her friends, to be called a whore? Would it not make one weep? It is my wretched fortune. Beshrew him for it. I will be hanged. If some eternal villain hath not devised this slander, I will be hanged out. Fine. There is no such man. It is impossible. If any such there be, heaven pardon him. I should call her for. Alas, Iago, what shall I do to win my lord again? Good friend, go to him. For by the light of heaven, I know not how I lost him. Here I kneel. If e'er my will did trespass against his love, either in discourse of thought and actual deed, or that mine eyes, mine ears, or any sense delight of them, or any form, or that I do not yet, and never did and never will, though he do shake me off to beggarly divorce and love him dearly. Comfort for swearing me. And unkindness may do much, but his unkindness may defeat my life, but never take my love. I cannot say whore. It does abhor me now to speak the word. To do the act that might be a dishonor. Not the world's best vanity could make me. I pray you be content. Tis but his humor. The business of the state does him offense. If it were no other. It is but so, I warrant. Hark how these instruments summon to supper. The messengers of Venice says the meat. Go in. And weep not. All things shall be well.
an hour ago. I do not find that thou deals with me justly. What, in the contrary? Every day thou dasks me with some device. I will indeed no longer endure it, nor am I yet persuaded to put up in peace what already I have foolishly suffered. Will you hear me, Rodrigo? I have heard too much, and your words and performances are no kin together. You charge me most unjustly. With naught but truth. I have wasted myself out of my means. The jewels that thou had for me to deliver Desdemona would have had corrupted a nun. Thou said she had received them, and returned to me expectations and comforts of a sudden respect and acquaintance, but I find none. Why, go to then. Very well. Go to very well? I cannot go to, man, nor tis not very well. Nay, I think it is scurvy and begin to find myself fucked in it. Very well. I tell you, tis not very well. I will make myself known to Desdemona. If you return to me my jewels, I will give over my suit to repent my lawful solicitation. If not, assure yourself I will find satisfaction of you. You have said now. I, and said nothing but what I protest intendment of doing. Why? Now I see there's metal in thee. And even from this, ist in this instant do build on thee a better opinion than ever before. Give me thy hand, Rodrigo. Thou hast taken against me a most just exception. But yet I protest I have dealt most directly in thy affair. It hath not appeared. I grant indeed it hath not appeared. And your suspicion is not without wit and judgment. But Rodrigo, if thou hast in thee indeed, which I have greater reason to believe now than ever, I mean purpose, Courage and valor, this night show it. If thou the next night following enjoy not Desdemona, take from me this world with treachery, and devise engines for my life. Well, what is it? Sir, there is a special commission come from Venice to depute Cassio in Othello's place. Why then Othello and Desdemona return again to Venice? It is a bold be lingered here by some accident, where none can be so determined as the removing of Cassio. How do you mean removing him? By, by making him incapable of Othello's place. And that you would have me to do? Aye. If you do yourself a profit, and a right. I'll be near to your second attempt. Come, stand not amazed at it, but go along with me. I will show you such a necessity in his death that you will find yourself bound to put it on him. <laughs> 